Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're still running Windows 10, you probably already know that Microsoft will officially end support on October 14th, 2025. That means no more free security updates and your PC could become vulnerable, but don't worry. Today I'm going to show you how you can enroll Windows 10 in Extended Security Updates, also known as ESU, so you can continue receiving updates beyond 2025. Doing this will extend support for another year until October 13th, 2026. To get started, make sure your Windows 10 is up to date like mine here. All updates must be applied. Microsoft provides three different ways to sign up for the program. The first option is free, available to anyone backing up files to OneDrive, whether or not they have a Microsoft 365 subscription. Another option is through Microsoft Rewards, where you can redeem 1,000 points if you are enrolled in the rewards program. Finally, if you prefer not to use the other options, you can choose the paid route and access the program for $30. We are going to look at the free option, so you need to download OneDrive if it is not already installed on your PC. I already have OneDrive installed myself. After you download the file, install it. After installation, you can log in using your Microsoft account. If you do not have an account, you can easily create one using your email address. Quick heads up. Once you sign into OneDrive with your Microsoft account, Windows may automatically switch your sign in from a local account to your Microsoft account. Sometimes you won't even see a warning. It just happens in the background. You can check this by going to Settings, then Accounts, then Your Info. If it now shows your email and says Sign in with a local account instead at the bottom, that means you're already using your Microsoft account to sign in. You'll need to sign in with a Microsoft account. A local account by itself won't work. Microsoft requires this so your extended security updates license can be linked directly to your account. For the free backup option, you don't have to sync every single file. Using Windows Backup to sync just your settings or a few folders is enough to qualify. Keep in mind though, OneDrive's free plan only gives you 5 gigabytes of storage. If your backup is small, that's fine. But if you try to back up a lot of files and run out of space, you'll either need to buy extra storage or choose to back up to another drive instead. The Enroll in Extended Security Updates option in Windows 10 doesn't always appear right away, even if you've done everything right. After signing in with a Microsoft account or setting up Windows Backup, it can take some time before the system refreshes and shows the ESU option. Wait a little. Sometimes the option takes a few days before it becomes visible. When it appears, it will look like this, just enroll. And that's how you enroll your Windows 10 PC in extended security updates to keep getting updates after October 2025. If you found this guide helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more Windows tips, and let me know in the comments are you planning to stick with Windows 10 or will you upgrade to Windows 11? Or maybe shift to a Linux distro like Linux Mint. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.